Going into the Olympics in 1988 in Calgary, I had won the Olympics in 84, and so I was sort of the defending champion. To skate to Carmen was an idea my coach from Miller and I had almost at the same time. I felt, okay, I can relate to her. You know, I always like to be playful on the ice. I like to flirt. One of my big rivals for the last years was uh, Debbie Thomas from America. Funny enough, I find out in the fall that she uh, skates to the music of Carmen as well. They made up the battle of the two Carmens, with Debbie Thomas being an American, me coming from East Germany. This competition was really building up. My dress for Carmen was supposed to be uh, sexy, of course. I was so nervous, I kept always going back into the bathroom, you know, and thinking, okay, a little more lipstick, eyeshadow, lipstick, eyeshadow, lipstick. I think after the competition was done and I saw the pictures, I'm like, oh my God, look at that makeup. You step on the ice, your name is pronounced. There's this moment of silence. A thousand thoughts go at once and sometimes it can be very lonely that small little moment when you stand there. In my first section I had um, three difficult uh, jumps and it was really important for that moment that I hit one after another to be comfortable and to be confident for the rest of the program and I nailed them all perfectly. Going into my second section, which was a slow section, I was able to breathe a little bit and where I had the chance just to pose. I think I was posing for 30 or 40 seconds, almost doing nothing. Flirting with the audience, flirting with the judges. The end, of course, is very dramatic. Carmen is being stabbed, so I'm, you know, having this, this movement going on. <laughs> and I lay down on the ice and I am physically, I'm dead because I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I wasn't so sure if it was enough for me to win the gold medal. Debbie was actually skating after my performance. The coach gave her a high five, she gave back and she missed it. So I sit there and I'm thinking, hmm, she's not really on the edge. She starts out the program and she has a mistake right away. And she starts having here a little mistake, there a little mistake, where she jumps her triples, but she doesn't land perfectly. I felt very sorry, I must say. I mean, you still want to go out and be the one who did better and wins, but still you want your competitor to deliver. When I finally found out that I won, I guess it was just like a big, big burden came off my shoulder and I was just relieved. And I wanted to say congratulations to Debbie and she wouldn't react. Like she wouldn't even look at me. That music, her character, that story is so much part of my life story, you know, that I always feel I never let her go.